Ed Slot, we got a very strong June jobs number today, but we still keep hearing about this so-called gig economy. That's what we're moving towards, right? Right. More people are doing their own thing. It's, we used to call it self-employment income, freelancing, having jobs on the side. But people like Uber drivers, for example, and people that provide services for people, they're in their own business. And you have tips for this so-called gig economy for these freelancers. And the first one is you're on your own. Yeah, I call it a new economy. I call it a yo-yo economy. Y-O-Y-O stands for you're on your own. If you're in business for yourself, nobody's putting anything away for you. Everything you have to do, you're on your own. And the next tip is, since you're on your own, you got to start with a simple Roth IRA? Yeah, that's where I would start. You have to have a plan to put away for retirement because, again, you're on your own. Nobody else is doing it for you. You're not in a company. You are the company. So once you start making some money, that's a good place to start with a, a simple Roth IRA, building a tax-free retirement fund, because if you don't do it, nobody will. And your next tip is, once you start that Roth IRA, you got to pay yourself first. Yeah, that's an old adage, but it's true. You have to be disciplined. You're on your own again. Nobody's doing it for you. Every time you get a paycheck, however you do it, you've got to take something off the top for yourself and put it away for retirement. If you have to do automatic withdrawals, say, into a Roth IRA, now that's not the be-all and end-all because with the Roth IRA, you can only contribute, say, $5,500 a year or $6,500 if you're 50 or over, but that's a good start. And let's keep progressing with yes. this small business. This small business is getting bigger, so you need to make bigger contributions to yourself as you go along. Right. If you can do more than the simple Roth, you can set up maybe a SEP, a self-employed plan, or even a solo 401k, where you can put lots more money in if you're making more. And then finally, you got to track uh, everything. you got to keep records because no one else is going to do it for you. Right, the HR department's thing. not going to do it yeah, for you. You are the HR department. You're the payroll department. You're everything. You've got to keep good records, especially if you have income from several different sources, all your customers. you got to keep books, keep records, and report that income so you have income that qualifies you to contribute to a retirement account and to build Social Security credit for the future. All right. All you giggers take note. Thanks a lot, Ed Slot. Thanks, Greg. And thank you for watching the street.